So at first we thought having Shark on the bus would be an awesome thing, but lately we realized that he's just an inconsiderate bus mate in general. For some reason he always wants to watch what he wants to watch, and it doesn't matter if there's room on the couch or anywhere, he always squeezes his way in. I don't think he realizes how large he actually is. I mean, I think he's a great white what he looks like he's huge he's gigantic like there's days when i wake up i just want to come out of the back lounge or out of my bunk and go up to the front lounge he's just he's just a giant and he's so big and of course you know shark skin it's like sandpaper so every time that he walks by you you end up with brush burns i mean right here look at he got me the other day Get off of me! Ah! The shower. He takes forever in the shower. I don't know if it feels like he needs more water or what, but man, he takes forever in there. And then when he leaves, everything's soaking wet. He doesn't wipe anything up and he never flushes the toilet. And I don't know if you know what shark leftovers or whatever look like, but they're disgusting. They're, it's nothing anyone wants to see. The other day I walked in the front lounge and he's just up there salting all of the water. I guess he wanted to feel more like home so he felt he needed to add salt to all the waters. We don't want that, it's, it's just disgusting. We're, we're getting beyond the point to where we can handle him anymore. He's just, he's so inconsiderate. He does, doesn't have any concept of time. I don't know if it's just because he's used to doing whatever he wants, just floating around through life. We're all pretty ready for Shark to go and and just get out of here. I mean, kids seem to really like him and he's good for the shows and stuff, but I don't know, he needs to shape up. Yeah.